Hello guys, welcome to HDF. This is the React JS story that I talked about in my last video. So let's start by knowing what React JS is. React JS is an open source front end JavaScript library used in building user inf interface. It was created by Meta, formerly known as Facebook, in 2013. It is used in developing single page applications. Its main concern is state management and rendering of those states to the document object model which I'll be referring to as DOM later on in the video. It renders only on the client side. It requires other frameworks like Next.js to render on the server side. And it also requires additional libraries for routing and other functionalities. The official website is reactjs.org. Important things to know about React.js. First, you need to know about components. Components are entities of React code. And, and, and also, components are reusable in the code. And it has to be placed in the source folder before it can work. Then it chooses Pascal case as its naming convention that is used capitalized camel cases it can be rendered to a particular element in the DOM using the React DOM library and values can be passed among components through the use of props and you also need to know about functional components which are declared with a function that returns some JS, JSX and also class based components which are declared using ESC's classes. Class based components uses classes and lifecycle methods. Why functional components have hooks to deal with their state management? And we also need to know JavaScript syntax extension JSX. JSX is JavaScript language syntax extension. It has similar appearance to HTML. I guess you know HTML. And if you don't know, comment down below. I will leave a video on HTML. I will, I will create a video on HTML for, for you guys. So we need to look into React hooks also. React hooks are functions that allow developers to use the React state and life cycle features from function components and react hooks does not work inside classes and it makes the use of react without classes possible when we get into the real tutorial we are going to make use a lot of react hooks because they make everything easier so these are some built in react hooks we have use state use effect use ref use context use layer layout effect is almost similar to use effect yeah difference is it's just not that much so so these are the most basic things you need to know about react before we start so let's move to the requirements as in things we need for this tutorial so definitely you need a code editor then you need to also install node.js so let's head into the browser let me show you what to do just type in node.js then look at the first link here the one with node.js.org click on it click on it then you download the correct the latest version for 
Oh, this thing it it automatically selects Windows for me because it knows I'm using Windows. When if you are using MacBook or Linux, it will detect it automatically and allow you to select you download it then install it then okay we'll continue from there then to windows i'm using visual studio code um it's also the first link here code.visualstudio.com you also click on it is the code editor that i'm using you can use any one that you wish you can use sublime any other code editor that you are used to you can use it there i'm using visual studio code so if you wish to download it then just head on to google then search visual studio code then download the one for your lap uh, computer so basically that's all you need for this tutorial but later we when the need arises we'll download we whatever we we'll need so that's all for the video thank you for watching please subscribe then share to your friends so that they can benefit from this tutorial so thank you